Hamilton storms to pole for the Japanese Grand Prix Lewis Hamilton dominated qualifying in Suzuka for the Japanese Grand Prix, clinching pole by 0.332 from his Mercedes teammate Valtteri Bottas, with Ferrari's Sebastian Vettel finishing the session in third. Bottas had narrowly avoided a big accident early in the session. Haas Roman Grosjean was not so lucky, crashing out at Dunlop at the end of Q1. Q1 Grosjean crashes out of qualifying title rivals Lewis Hamilton and Sebastian Vettel were kicked to get out on track once the lights went green. Both were running the soft compound. First blood went to the Mercedes which went a quarter of a second faster than the Ferrari. However there was a scare for Hamilton's teammate Valtteri Bottas. He slid off at Degner and came close to a massive accident before successfully gathering it up. The Finn quickly recovered his composure his first clean lap was only 7,000 soft Hamilton's latest benchmark, albeit on super softs. Hamilton continued pushing. His fastest lap of Q1 proved to be 129.047s putting him ahead of Red Bull's Max Verstappen followed by Bottas and Vettel. At the other end of the timing screens, the five drivers not making it through to the second round were Haas Roman Grisjean, Toro Rosso's Pierre Gasly, Williams Lance Stroll and the two Sabers of Marcus Ericsson and Pascal Wehrlein. Their final last gasp attempts to avoid elimination were thwarted by a red flag with 118s remaining on the clock. It was triggered by Grisjean losing control going through the scurves and crashing heavily into the barriers at Dunlop. He was winded but unhurt, and able to quickly climb from the crumpled car. Q2 Hamilton moves up a gear Hamilton was first out in Q2. Straight on two supersofts, his time of 127.819s was a new track record for Suzuka. It was almost seven-tenths faster than Vettel's initial flying lap. Bottas slipped into third ahead of Verstappen, followed by Daniel Ricciardo and Kimi Raikkonen. Vettel shaved the gap to Hamilton to four-tenths in his second run at the end of the round. Neither Red Bull felt it necessary to make another outing, and Raikkonen was also secure enough to stay in the garage as the time expired. A late flyer from Fernando Alonso put the McLaren into the top 10. However it was at the cost of dumping his teammate Stoffel Van Dorn into the elimination zone by 0.029s. The good news for the Belgian is that he will start in the top 10 anyway as a result of Alonso's latest slew of engine penalties. Also dropping out of qualifying at the end of Q2 were the two Renaults of Nico Hulkenberg and Jolly and Palmer. The Haas of Kevin Magnussen and Carlos Sainz in the Toro Rosso were also out. Q3 Hamilton seals the deal with new track record Hamilton once again led the field out once the track opened for the business of the pole shootout. He found another half a second compared to his Q2 lap and opened his account with a time of 127.345s, six tenths faster than Bottas. Vettel got slightly closer, but was still more than four-tenths slower than his rival. Everyone else was over a second slower than provisional pole with their first efforts, with just Raikkonen and Alonso initially opting to stay in the garage. All ten cars were out on track for a final push with two minutes to go. Hamilton marginally improved his time by a few hundredths while Bottas was able to push ahead of Vettel for second place. However, the Finn will be demoted five placed on the grid for Sunday's race due to his gearbox change. That will promote Vettel back onto the front row, and set up an all-Red Bull lineup behind them, with Richardo edging Verstappen. Raikkonen finished qualifying in sixth but will drop out of the top ten due to his own grid penalty. Gallery The beautiful wives and girlfriends of F1 drivers keep up to date with all the F1 news via Facebook and Twitter.